Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today, I'm going to be starting my three part video series on how to make a circuit board like this that has copper etch traces from something like this, which is just a piece of copper clad board. This uh, three part video series will go through. Uh, first starting with the idea of what you want to build, then going to how you actually draw the traces on the board, then going to how you actually etch it and solder it. Now this video will just be about how you take your idea and you convert it into some traces on your board that you can actually make. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that you do when you're trying to uh, make a circuit board is you're going to need to have a schematic diagram and your idea. So what I'm going to do for my idea is I'm going to take a AA battery and I want it to power an LED. But usually this doesn't work because the voltage of a AA battery is not enough to power an LED. So what we're going to have to make is something called a Jewel Thief circuit. Now Jewel Thief circuits work by using a transformer or a toroid something like this, to step up the voltage from the battery. The circuit diagram looks something like this. It has a triangle to represent the maybe 1.2 volts that's coming from the, the AA battery, and that goes into a transformer. Now this transformer is wound separately, so this coil starts here, and this coil starts here. And this is the toroid transformer, of course. Now the top of this one, or the other side goes to this coil. Now this bottom part goes to the, the collector of the transistor, which is like this. So this is the transistor, this is the emitter, this is the base. This side of the transformer goes to the base of the transistor through a 1K resistor. And this side goes to ground and the emitter goes to the cathode of the LED and the collector goes to the anode of the LED. And so this is basically the schematic for a Jewel Thief circuit. And this is what we're going to be designing. So we can put this on the traces of the circuit board, etch this in ferric chloride, and make this so it looks like a professional looking manufactured circuit board. So, what we're going to start by is taking our circuit board and tracing it on this piece of paper. Now, this trace will allow us to design our circuit board before we actually use permanent marker and mark the traces on the piece of copper clad board. So, what we're going to do is start by placing the components on the board in the order in which we're actually going to place them on when we make the final product. So, I'm going to place the components on here and it's going to look something like this minus the long leads so now we're going to want to add the pin markings and draw them so right now I have all the pins drawn and a little outline of what components are here so right here I have the toroid, the LED, the transistor and the resistor and so what we're going to do right here is we're going to kind of map out what this jewel thief is going to look like with my drawing traces on this. So I'm going to start by drawing a trace from here to here to connect the actual two top pins of the transformer on the Jewel Thief. As you can see, they're wound in an opposite direction. And I'm thinking that I might take this pin and have this pin run out here and this is where the positive terminal is going to be, where it's going to connect to the battery. And then this terminal of the, uh, the transformer is going to connect down here through this resistor to the base of the transistor. So when you're drawing out these uh, traces on the Jewel Thief, you need to really think about where they're going to go and how they're going to fit on here. So I'm going to draw these traces from the LED and have this go in and have this go to the ground pad. And then this should be really 
how the circuit will actually look on the piece of copper clad board. So, when you're drawing out these circuits, especially with more complicated circuits than this, you'll really have to think, and you might even have to use a few jumpers to connect the wires. Because when you're designing something like this, it's not really easy, and there's a lot of thinking that goes into this. So, now to actually putting it onto the copper clad board. So what I'm going to do on this copper clad board, I'm going to use two different types of sharpies. One of them is a thick tip and one of them is a thin tip. I'm going to use these to draw out all the traces that we have in this diagram onto here. So, as you can see what I've done first is I've marked out all the areas where all the different components are going to be. So that way when I actually start drawing the traces on the piece of copper board, it'll make more sense. And then what you see that I do on here is on all the places that are going to hold actual components, I make them thicker. So that way when we add the solder, the solder will hold them on there better. So, as you can see, I have all the component pads traced out and ready to draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by connecting this pin to this pin up here through this. So this is going to be the positive like you see up here. And then this pin is going to be connected down through here. And this is going to be where the positive pad is going to be. And so this will be connected to this pin where the resistor is going to be. And then I'll draw another trace here. That pretty much completes all the traces on this board. So now all I'm going to do is uh, thicken them up and do a second coating so that way the ferric chloride doesn't eat through this part. Now after all your traces are drawn out, it's remember to f you need to remember to fill in all the other places where there's no traces to eliminate the amount of ferric chloride that's going to be used to etch this thing. Because ferric chloride the more copper you remove with it, the less useful it becomes until the point where it becomes not useful anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in all the gaps where there's going to be no etching taking place. So, as you can see, the circuit board is done, and it looks a lot like it would if someone would have used a computer and a laser printer to make this same circuit diagram on a piece of copper clad board. So, now in my next video, I'm going to show you how to actually put this in ferric chloride ex etching solution and take away all the copper on this and that way you can have a nice circuit board so in the next part I'll show you that for now thank you for watching and please subscribe